as he's making me a shoe for this horse, there again, we're going to support it. But we're going to hot shoe this and seal this white line here, okay? So the, we've got an opening we're going to have up here, but we want to get this infection under control, but we want to seal the entrance way, so to speak, then we can heal it up. So he's making me a shoe. We're going to get that on there, and then we'll trim that up. So Eric made me a shoe here that's going to give us good support. It's going to put the pressure back here at the heel, kind of unload this toe on this foot. And there again, we are hot shoeing him, so we're sealing that white line so infection can't just keep coming up through there. But you can see we made the shoe, rolled the toe, got good heel support. We're going to put some putty in there. So uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Eric and let him get the shoe on, and then we're going to see if we can do anything else. pretty hard tissue here so we're just going to try to cut this out here's the coronary band here so I want to keep that in good shape see I've got it sealed down here and there's the infection I've got it stabilized now I'm just trying to get this opened up so I can get some antibiotics in there to decrease that mass and you can see all that necrotic tissue there here to here all this is pretty much decayed see all that so we're trying to open this up, get some air into that, keep this coronary band. See how it's kind of pushed up here? We're going to try to open that down here just a little bit. So as this foot grows down, this will settle back down, and this normal foot will grow back down. Is that making sense? But I want to get the shoe under there to stabilize that foot so that I don't cause that bone that you've seen the x-rays of already any more stress. There again, you can see how it's swollen right here. And that's cause all this is jammed up. So what we're trying to do is relieve the pressure. So this settles back down, this grows down, and that's pretty healthy tissue there. You know, I could take all this off, but I've got a space here. So I'm going to leave this because that does still have some support to it. Does that make sense? If I take all that off, I don't have much support here. But I do have a opening here to put my antibiotic in and get this to heal. And then we'll get this foot to grow down and this will eventually be trimmed off. So that's what we're trying to do. So, so what we did is we took some metronidazole, which is a real strong antibiotic, <coughs> crushed the peels up, and we're going to put that on with a wrap and let that antibiotic soak in. So there again, remember we got an infection in one foot. The other three are doing pretty good. They need a trim, but the infection's in the one foot. So if you put this horse on systemic antibiotics, remember that she's in foals, so you're treating the baby or the fetus is getting the same antibiotics. So we're going to treat this topically. And so we'll change this wrap daily and we'll monitor that a day or two we'll culture it see if anything else is growing uh, but pretty happy got it opened up she's doing really good so pretty pleased <laughs>